Cruzy! This time on Mr. Cruzy. <laughs> F him with briquettes in a motorcycle. Burn up your shit. Battery don't charge. You get stuck in the parking lot pushing your shit, everybody making fun of you. What do you do? I pity the fool. That's what I do. I pity the fool. Pity him. M8 motor building time. You're on tripod again because Trent is out running around. Dave's over there. I'm just talking to the camera. I just uh, sized up all the rings. It took me a really long time because these come with five over rings. They're really big and really tight and they're supposed to be 20 thousandths on the top, 24 on the second and you know 10 minimum but and they're tight so 20 thousandths is a lot of filing. A lot to take out, a lot of one piece at a time. That way you can fit them up real proper. I set them up kind of on the tight side because the bike's going to get raced a lot and beat on pretty hard, so I want it to last a long time. It'll make more power on the loose side, but this way it'll be a little safer. And we're talking about like half a horsepower probably realistically. All right, the rings are already done. Once they're done, you want to clean out the cylinders. I just used some brake clean. This is PJ1 Professional Pro Contact Cleaner. It's that good stuff. And get a cruise the originals. Just wipe these guys out. See all that dirt that comes out of there from it being machined? I'm just gonna wipe this thing a couple hundred times. Fold this thing in a nice square, flip it over, get the other side. Keep flipping the rag and keep cleaning until it comes out perfectly clean. Can use a few rags. Just make sure the shit is clean. When they spin this thing on the hone, it's just burying grit and shit into the side of the cylinder wall. This is how you pull it out. Beautiful. Now I'm going to hit the other one. Two birds stoned at once, you know? Alright, now that shit is clean, I put a little motor oil in. Just a little light coat. Same kind of rag folding technique, you know. It's going to get it worked into the cross hatching really good, into the cylinders. This is all the oil you need in the cylinder when you start the thing. No assembly lube, none of that bullshit. Oh yeah, so these things are ready to put on. I had to do a bit of machine work on these because we're sponsored by SNS Cycles, so we got this kit for free. But it's also a hand-me-down kit because one of the fins was broken, so someone sent it back. One of the fins was broke, and it's also we have two fronts. So these are both front cylinders, so I had to machine this section right here to clear the, the tappet block and then the push rod. I'm ready to put some on. It's going to be a bit of a bitch. That's a big-ass piston. anti-seize on the threads on the studs already and I'm gonna put a little bit of anti-seize on the collars up here. This gets a nice smooth torque, everything's nice and tried and true. These are SNS head studs, head stud bolts. Light amount of anti-seize to go a long, long way. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny little smear of anti-seize on the inside of that guy just so they're nice and smooth, or even oil. All right, these little dudes go finger tight. A little 
couple finger tippers, you know. Now if you've got brand new head studs, there's a different torque sequence to this because you got to pre-stretch the studs. We are using the existing studs. They are 3 8 studs with very, very little miles on them. Start on the bottom side, star pattern, we're going to go 10 pounds. And I put an extension on this one, it's a really short one. An extension, like you got a long extension, it's going to f*** with your torque. Your torque's not going to be accurate, so you're going to lose it in that extension. So the shorter the better. If you got a real, real short one, it's going to be a lot more accurate. You got to have something to get up over the valves and all that shit. Back to where we were. Number one, 10 pounds. Number two, other side. You start on the primary side. 10 pounds. Go back down to the bottom. And same thing over on this guy now. I like to do both heads at once, and it's a lot more time efficient. Now we're going 20 pounds. Now 25 pounds. We're going to go up by 5 pounds, up to 45 pounds now. And that's where we're going to end. That's that, heads are torqued. I'm sweating. Got hair grease coming down my forehead. Always zero out your torque wrench when you're done because you put it away on the poundage, it's trash. If you guys want to learn how to do push rod adjustment, we have another video out. It's kind of a, a, one of our biggest videos probably. I think it is our biggest video. But I, had, I do a whole tutorial on how to do push rod adjustments and all that stuff. I'll try and remember to put the link down in the comments or something like that. If not, bug me about it. It'll be in there. Or search the YouTube channel and, you know, like, subscribe, all that shit. All this stuff is on our website, too. And if it's not, remember, you can call the shop and the channel will always hook you up. <clears throat> I'm going to install these s and &S, I don't know what the f they're called. Stud conversions for the rocker arms. Because the stock shit is actually a pretty nice bolt. Because... I torqued one of these and this thing torqued up really nice. It torqued up like a titanium bolt, so it is what it is. But the word is, is this style right here tends to break these towers off. So we're converting it to a stud and nut, which you can get more of a torque on. I'm going to do that install right now. It's a really nice setup, SNS Cycles. SNS Cycles and SNSCycles.com. Available at CruzyOriginals.com, the SNS Cycles stud kit. Make sure that your SNS Cycles built motor is SNS y. All right, these things torque to five foot-pounds, which I don't have a torque wrench that I would trust at five foot-pounds. That would be the bottom of the torque wrench number, and you want to stay kind of in the middle of the reading to keep her more accurate. So I'm going to convert that to inch-pounds, which is 60 inch-pounds, so that's what I'm going to torque these things to. Pretty solid. This is a 5 16 bolt. So that is going to torque this more, I think, is why they torque this so light. Generous amounts of lubricants on everything. Now we torque these to 24 foot pounds. Come up in here being an impatient fucking asshole, you get pushed on down the road. <laughs> Work on that twin cam. Yeah, that again. Well, I'm the biggest shit talker though. <laughs> so. First couple of the fucking M8 Softail motors that I did was a real pain in the ass. But I also hadn't really done any of them. It was the first couple I'd done. And now that I've done a few times, got some tricks down. I honestly think it's it's more time consuming for sure than a, than a twin cam, but it's a simpler, better designed, easier to work on motor. It's a simpler, better designed, easier to work on motor. Just getting to the motors is the fucking hard part, but yeah, 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 whatever. Right? 
fucking eat my work. Slowly turning around on the M8. Dude. I'm having a good time building this one. This this thing's gonna be real fast, and it's awesome how easily you can build a shitload of power. That's a twelve hundred dollar kit. Twelve hundred dollars, one twenty four. You know how much it costs to make a fucking twin cam on one twenty four? Six seven grand. You better get some money from a dead <laughs> grandparent or some shit. Because it's expensive. So this is a front cylinder that we have on the rear, you know, all that shit, I ground it up and notched this out, but I didn't notch it high enough because this little lip thing stuck. So that's why I assembled all this shit because I'm going to plug this hole off and plug this off and plug all this stuff off so I can grind this on the bike. It's not going to look as good as it does now, that's for sure, which is going to be ugly, but it'll be done. Put a little prick punch in it because it's got a little prick punch in it and then when I put ink over it all the ink will stay in there so when I wipe the shit off with my thumb I still got a little silver dot to keep my eyes on. Well, that's it. It's together. Uh, throttle body will hopefully be here tomorrow. Uh, everything else will hopefully be here tomorrow. This is a SNS 124, two front cylinders, machine to fit, with a SNS full cam chest kit with 550 cams, stud retainers, these retainers, everything dialed SNS, really top to bottom. Uh, she should rip, man. She's about 12 to 1 compression, 11.75, I think. I gotta build an exhaust. Cruzy Originals, cruzyoriginals.com. I will put a link down in the comments and the whatchamacallit, the shit where I write a description. Uh, check out the website. Everything that's on here is available on the website. If it's not, call the shop and talk to beautiful Trent, America's favorite Cruzy Originals character. <laughs> and stay posted, ring that bell, like, subscribe. Don't miss out on anything. We got a lot of big shit coming.